Okay guys, time for another rant. We went to Best Buy to have my father's iPad wiped clean for my mother to use. I was very specific when I went to the Geek Squad there and told them that, you know, my father passed away. We just got him the iPad in April. I don't know his Apple ID password. I said, will wiping it clean clear that? As long as there's no locks on it, everything should be cleared up and you should, it should be brand new coming out of, like it's just brand new coming out of the box. Okay, how much will this cost? $40. Okay. So, to me, it was going to do everything I needed it to do. So, my mother goes ahead and pays the $40. We go back to pick up the iPad. It wasn't quite ready yet. So, I wander around the store for a little while, or we wander around the store for a little while. I run into the restroom. They hand my mom back the iPad and said, all set. So we come home. I don't check the iPad. Nobody checked it with her at the store. They just handed it to her. This morning, I go to set it up, and it says this iPad is associated with this Apple ID and password. That's what I went there for, to get it unassociated with that ID and password, because I don't know that password. So I called Best Buy and a supervisor answers the phone. So I said, oh good, I'm already talking to a supervisor. I won't say names. Anyway, I explained to her the entire situation and she says, I'm sorry, you paid us $40 to wipe your iPad clean and we did that. I said, no. I paid you $40 to clear the Apple ID and password. You didn't do that. She says, we are not allowed to touch Apple ID passwords. I said, well, then the person who checked me in shouldn't have told me that it would take care of that and it would be brand new coming out of the box because that is what I assumed I would be getting is a brand new, pretty much, Apple uh, iPad that I could just turn around and set my mother's Apple ID and password up and turn this iPad into my mother's iPad. Well, we did what you paid us the $40 for. So after 30 minutes of arguing with this lady, I said, I'd like to speak to your supervisor. I'm the only supervisor in the store. I was like, you mean to tell me that <laughs> you're in the geek squad and you're not only the supervisor of the geek squad, you're supervising the entire store? I said, I want to talk to the supervisor of the store. She says, no, I'm the only supervisor here. I said, what is your name? She wouldn't give me her name. I asked three times, what is your name? She would not give me her name. She put me on hold. She comes back. Oh, another supervisor just walked in. Hold on a moment. After being on hold for another 15 minutes, the other supervisor comes online. And she says to me, well, I say to her, I said, since I've been on hold this long, I'm sure that you and the other supervisor had plenty of time to discuss the situation and you're already all scripted out as to what you're going to tell me. I said, I'd like everybody's names that I've dealt with yesterday and today. So she freely gives me everybody's names. I said, great, because I'm going to file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau as soon as we're done on the phone here. So... She says, okay, 
she says, can you explain to me what the situation is? So I explained to her the entire situation. She says, okay, first of all, let me tell you, this is not scripted. I did not discuss the, I, I did discuss the situation with her, but I wanted to hear what you had to say before I make any decisions. She says, this conversation shouldn't have even gotten this far because you should not have been able to walk out of that store without turning that iPod on, iPad on at the counter to make sure it was done the way you wanted it done. I said, well then, why did that other supervisor fight me tooth and nail, being rude as can be to me, telling me, <laughs> basically she didn't give a crap that my father just died and that uh, it's not her problem that we don't know his password that they can't touch an Apple ID and her staff is trained to tell everybody that and that how many people come in there and say that oh we weren't told this and want their money back and they can't give everybody their money back I said I'm not everybody I said I know specifically what I was told I know specifically what I went in there for my mother is on a very strict income right now. I said, my father just passed away. I said, I would not have let her spend $40 if this was not going to fix the problem. They did not tell me that it would not wipe out an Apple ID and password. I specifically said, that's what I wanted done. They took my $40 and didn't do what I wanted done. So this manager was extremely, extremely nice. Um, this was all after I had already done the survey and gave them a glowing report because they were all so nice when I was in there. So I was like, I can't even take back my glowing report on these people because I already did it. So she's, the, the other supervisor that wasn't nice to me said, oh, you could call 1-800-BEST-BUY and file a complaint. I said, that's not going to do diddly squat for me. I said, and it's not going to do diddly squat against you guys because you guys get tons of complaints and nothing happens. I said, I am an extremely unhappy customer and you're in customer service and you're telling me you're not going to help me. You basically don't give a crap that my father just died. It's not your problem that I don't know his password, that I was not told what I was told, that I'm lying to you, and um, that you're not going to help me, and that you're the only supervisor on duty. I didn't buy any of it. Luckily, the other supervisor, very, very, very nice lady, very understanding, said she is not going to let her department or her store get a hit for $40. And that the conversation should have never gotten that far because they let the, the, the iPad go out of the store without being checked by the customer. My mother didn't know she needed to check it. My mother's 74 years old. She doesn't know this stuff. She doesn't know how to use any of this. She just kn is going to know what I tell her to do when I set it up for her. So anyway, after being on the phone for almost an hour with them, finally resolved, went over there, they gave us a refund. The supervisor that I spoke with last apologized profusely to me, um, said that uh, this supervisor that I was dealing with um, was handled, the situation was handled with her, um, and that she was not in the store at the time I was there. So I don't know what that means, but I don't like to see anybody lose their job, but if you're not that good in customer service, don't be in customer service. So, rant over.